1959. Now, the Brazilian basketball team is coming back against the United States. We're going to send you back to Billy Packer and Dick Stockton, and we'll do that in just a moment here on CBS. This game has tightened up considerably. This is the gold medal game in men's basketball. Dick Stockton and Billy Packer. At one time, the USA had a 20-point lead. But Brazil cut it to four moments ago before Willie Anderson stretched it to six. A 13-4 run by Brazil has tightened this game up, led by the great Oscar Schmidt. And a physical affair at that, Billy. Well, the game has gotten much more physical. You've got the uh, Brazilian ball club is, is physically stronger than the United States, particularly the lineup that was on the court when they made that run. And they're really taking advantage of it now. Defensively, they're putting a lot more body on the American players and going to the hoop, just as we see here. Ricardo Cardoza misses the shot. And out of the pack comes Smart. And a foul called against Andrade. David Robinson picked up his fourth personal foul when he was called for a technical for hanging on the basket, which really wasn't his fault. He was undercut. He has four personal fouls, not three, because a technical amounts to a personal foul. And when he picked up his fourth, Billy, that's when Brazil went to work. They did. David was uh, strong, taking up the middle, going over the top of Brazil. But right now, the Brazilian players are vocally, physically, and emotionally really into this ball game as they had not been throughout this tournament. Oscar with the ball now has 22 points misses a three Sousa has 17 his other scoring mate and this is going to be an easy two points of slam for Israel Andrade and it's 81 to 77 12 10 remaining in the second half you saw in that particular case the United States thought they had themselves an easy basket on the other end everybody released nobody back to help out and for defensive balance over 20 million Brazilians are watching this game in the native country in a steal by Gerson Vitalino, who's really been all over the court, very active. Vitalino is a, an excellent leaper on the ball court. Right now, what we have are, are one club just as completely an emotional high. Schmidt with three more, Billy, and it's now a one-point game. The United States is going to have to go back to a lineup that can get some emotion going. You know, Oscar Schmidt has played in Europe. He knows what it feels like to play in this kind of an environment. And he's really taking it to the United States. Willie Anderson misses outside. Andrade gets the rebound. Schmidt was heading the other way. You have to be very careful when Schmidt's guarding you because if you take the jump shot, he's releasing to the other end of the floor. And he was wide open. Andrade didn't find him. Brazil looking to take the lead. Not this time. But Garrett's not a ball handler. Chapman misses the layup. Once again, Brazil looking to take the lead with a little more than halfway through. Schmidt gives Brazil the lead with a three-pointer. He has 28 points, 17 this half. Oscar is putting on more of a show here, not only with his shooting, but the emotion. He's going to drain himself here just with his celebrations after the shots. Billy Brazil came out, and they decided to become more physical. Ari Vidal, the coach of the Brazilians, this is for the gold medal. Brazil's first lead of the ball game on the three-pointer by Oscar. Purvis Ellison goes up, and he's fouled. Looked like a good block by Vitalano. You see Oscar with that great touch from the outside, tremendous release. Went right over Rex Chapman for the shot. Vitalino committing the foul. That is his fourth personal foul. One more, and he's gone, and he would be a tough loss for the Brazilians. And coming into the ball game is Viana, number 12, replacing Vitalino. Vitalino did a great job out there, Dick, and I really thought that he got all ball on that last play. Oscar has four three-pointers to help bring his team back. As we said, 17 points in the second half. And on the free throw line is Purvis Ellison out of the University of Louisville. You remember his heroics in the Final Four a couple of years ago. As a freshman MVP that last year, Denny's club was 18 and 14, did not get to the NCAA tournament. You'd have to assume with a little better backcourt balance this year, they're going to be back where they normally are in the run for the NCAA championship. High score at 83. Keep in mind that the United States has only lost two games in Pan American Games history, and the last one was in 1971. Boy, Oscar has got no conscience Oscar. with his three-pointer. With another three-pointer. And his 86-83 breaking the tie. That's four three-point shots by Oscar. Today. I don't know anybody I've ever seen that loves to score more than he does. Billy, he has 31 points after collecting only 11 at the half. Going wild here. Brought Brazil back. Chapman oh, boy, with did you see that shot? shot? Good. What a 
shot by Rex Chapman. Incredible shot by Chapman. He got hit all the way. Viana knocks him down to the floor, and Rex Chapman hits the shot anyway. Mr. Basketball in the state of Kentucky. This young man in a short period of time has gone a long way from Mr. Basketball to top, one of the top players in the SEC to the Pan Am Games and certainly to be a major candidate for the Olympic uh, team next year. And the first freshman ever to lead Kentucky in the scoring. Free throw shooting has been uh, a real albatross for this ball club. And so as we go down to the wire here with 10 minutes to go, you got to keep that in mind. Keith Smart committing the foul. That is only the fourth team foul against the United States. Brazil already in the bonus. And Jeff Lebo is going to come in as a substitute. But what do we have the referee? Do we have one referee? I hope he has contact. He's telling the guys to sit down and relax or he's going to call a bench technical. David Robinson on the bench with four personals. He has scored 20. Chapman goes out of the ball game. Rex has scored 17. So the backcourt now will be Lebo and Keith Smart. Three-point attempt again by Schmidt. Not that time, but the rebound by Andrade. Schmidt again, three-pointer hits. Dick, you just cannot relax with him because he has no conscience. He's got great range, goes way beyond the, the international three-point line to take those shots. And if he misses one, it doesn't bother him. That's his sixth of the game, sixth three-pointer. Out of bounds, it is still USA ball. You know, at, at this point, Dick, I'll tell you what. Brazil's going to get a technical foul here, but I think they've been getting some rough calls here going down the wire. I mean, it, it seems like every call has gone against them. They've been the aggressor in the game. I realize sometimes that creates a foul, but they've been getting a lot of nitpicking fouls here, and I don't blame them for complaining a time or two. When a technical is called against a substitute or a coach, it is two free throws plus possession. Otherwise, a technical is just two free throws. Going to put Lebo on the line. That's the head of the delegation there, the basketball delegation in the yellow. Telling Ari Vidal to calm down. Yeah, I can't be angry with him. He traded me a nice shirt the other day, so uh, I have to stick up for him a little bit. But I think, I think there really have been uh, some rough calls not going their way here down the wire. The United States led by 14 at the half. Earlier than that in the first stanza had a 20-point lead, but Brazil came back. And Oscar, his name is Oscar Schmidt, but the great players like Hortensia are known by their first name, so we call him Oscar. Here's the time remaining in the second half for the gold medal. Brazil leading by two. Oscar missing inside the rebound by Danny Manning. Here's Smart pushing it up. Smart pulls up. Keith Smart has that ability again, like I mentioned, Rex Chapman. They just go inside that lane and go over the top of the defense. They love it here in Indiana when Keith Smart hits the big jump shot. Oscar with a screen misses a second in a row, and Manning the rebound and a foul on Brazil. One of the things that's happened also, Dick, is Brazil really going to the boards right now, both on the offensive end and the defensive end. Denny Crum off the bench in volleyball. The USA beat Cuba in the first two games, but trails Cuba 7-4 in game three of their gold medal match. But here at Market Square Arena, Denny Crum, who won his first NCAA title right on this very floor against UCLA in 1980, trying to keep the USA in front. They have squandered a 20-point lead, and right now the Americans have regained it by one. One of the other things that has impressed me is Brazil's been able to go to their bench. You would have assumed by now, with the exception of Oscar, uh, Sosa has had a pretty good rest. He's back out on the floor. But this is a much fresher team than normally would go down uh, in the last 10 minutes of the game for Brazil. Jorge Guerra, 6-1 guard, has come in the ball game, setting a screen for Sosa. Schmidt, Oscar Schmidt is fouled. And an American foul will be their 15th foul. On the eighth foul, they will shoot. This is number five. And Denny Crum off the bench. Schmidt goes to the line, but I didn't think the foul was down, was against Schmidt. I thought the foul was down on the interior, inside the lane. See who he called the foul on. Looks like he's holding up Fennis Dembo's hand. It is Dembo, yeah. who's, who's in there with Ellison, Lebo, Manning, and Smart, and Oscar, who is 10 for 10 at the free throw line. Shooting right here. I 
against the Virgin Islands in this tournament. Oscar went six for 22 in the field. He was four for 10 for the three-point line. So, you know, he has had nights when he doesn't shoot this well, but most of the time, you can count on him as a 30-point-plus man. That was his first miss from the line. USA with the ball and a one-point lead. Danny Manning fall away. Not a good shot. Off the rim and captain. put in, I believe, Keith Smart. Keith Smart tips it in. He got in there. And it's a three-point USA lead. The time remaining, 8.35 in the second period. Sosa with a great feed inside. Backdoor Jeff Lebo. Lebo too small to guard Sosa down around the basket. USA by one. USA has won the gold medal every year, but one year when Brazil captured it. Manny has it knocked away by Viana. Still the American ball. Viana came into the ball game, of course, with... Uh, to go ahead and take up for the foul trouble they were having, and he also showed he can leave an air Sosa again going over Lebo. He's got too much size for him. Demo taking the outside shot. Sosa on the run. Long rebound into the hands of Lebo, and Americans now with a four-on-three break. Lebo draws the foul. See Keith Smart going on the inside. He hits the post. Danny Manning tries to put up the shot off balance. You had Purvis Ellison in perfect position to rebound, gets pushed inside, and there comes Keith Smart from the backside. And here's that pass inside. You see Lebo turning his head. Sosa takes him back court, and it goes in. Guerra with the feed inside. Billy, when do you bring back David Robinson in this kind of a game with 8-0-1 to go? Well, I think, uh, you know, Denny could be thinking any minute now to get him back in the ball game because, uh, you know, even with the clock, David's the kind of guy that if he's concentrating, has no reason to put his body on anybody. He can still be a factor. He has 20 points, came out strong, had 15 and 7 rebounds early on. That technical foul we go back to, Dick, that counts as a personal for hanging on the rim, which I did not think was a good call. But that really cost the United States. He's coming back right now. Marcel Sosa, Schmidt, hits a three. That's seven three-point shots, and now Brazil regains the lead by one, 95-94. Dick, I'd like to see him in that NBA three-pointer. And they're going to call the foul on Cardoza as a stutter step play. And here comes David Robinson back in the ball game. I'd like, you know, uh, Larry Bird's right here in Terre Haute. Just opened up, I guess, a new hotel down there the other day. I'd like to bring him up here for a challenge for Oscar. Oscar and Larry Bird from that three-point range. I think it'd be a show. He may think it's Oscar Robertson, and he'll take the bait. And then he'll find out it's Oscar Schmidt. Well, after he scored the 53 the other night, the head of the delegation came up to me, and he said, Bill, now who, Bird or Oscar? Oscar. I said, no, no, wait a minute. Let's not get carried away. Here. Right. Oscar, meanwhile, is 27 points this half and 38 in the game. Four fouls on Cardoza of Brazil. USA by one on Keith Smart's free throw. If you've just joined us here, the United States women breeze to the gold medal over Brazil and this has been a different game after the Americans led by as much as 20. Brazil has come back strong on the strength of Oscar's outside shooting. And now it's a seesaw affair with less than seven and a half to play in the game. Sosa gets another chance. Well, he doesn't miss many in there. Danny Manning can't get the handle. And Dembo cradles the ball for the USA. Americans up by one. And it's still the USA ball. And now I believe that touched off the hands of the United States player. They're just not getting any calls. Everything going against Brazil in regard to the calls. Time remaining. Of course, that technical sobered him up a little bit about crying about him because uh, it really hurts you. Danny Manning tipped up by Robinson and missed, and the rebound by Andrade. Brazil can regain the lead if they score. Not only regain it, they can go ahead with that three-point Shooting. You see, again, Sosa's taken smart inside. Had him by the shirt. Why take a shot from out there, huh? You know, Brazil's getting a lot of offensive long rebounds in this game. Well, the reason for that, Dick, they take so many shots from outside the three-point line that they come out to that degree. Now, here's the play I was talking about a second or two ago. Pass comes over. The ball hits, and it goes right off Key Smart, but they don't get the call. Dembo has four personal fouls. Tennis Dembo. Sosa hits a three-pointer and 
Brazil leading by two now, 98-96, six and a half minutes to play for the gold medal, and this may go down to the wire. As Denny Crum watches this game, remember he was one of the big opponents of the three-point play on the collegiate scene this year. But you can see what a factor it becomes in a ball game. Smart and Lebo, the guards, Lebo penetrating nicely, and he goes with another rebound. Andrade defended well against Lebo. Brazil leading by two. Sosa scoops it, the basket counts, and a foul. And a four-point Brazil lead, and they can up it again. Look, Sosa went to college in the United States as a freshman at Bradley, played for Joe Scoble at Bradley. His father, after his first year, found out that he enjoyed college so much, said he wanted to keep him back in Brazil. And David Robinson is fouled out of the ball game. Five fouls on David Robinson. Meanwhile, Cuba leading the USA in their third game of the gold medal match after the Americans captured the first two. And David Robinson fouls out with 20 points and 10 rebounds with 6.04 remaining, replaced by Purvis Ellison. Purvis Ellison coming in, and I don't know if I've ever seen a game change so much on an emotional pitch. All of a sudden, Brazil came out. They start playing tough man-to-man -to -man defense, which they haven't shown at all in this tournament. And they just came after the United States. You see David Robinson on the foul. Sosa goes by him. Makes a nice fake. Not much of a touch by uh, Robinson, but uh, it is his fifth. Sosa misses the free throw. He still has 24 points and nine rebounds. The USA has the ball, and Rex Chapman came in for Keith Smart at guard. Dick, one of the things technically that Brazil is doing, they're contesting every rebound the United States gets. Now, the United States ought to be fast breaking off of that a little better, but they're just not getting the ball out on a, on a defensive rebound. Billy, this is the first time ever that the USA has given up 100 points in a Pan Am basketball game. Rex Chapman misses outside. Ellison keeps it alive. You notice how we're not getting anything inside offensively? Manning missed. Ellison was there, and they're going to call the foul against Brazil. I think they're going to no, call against, against Purvis against coming against over Ellison. the top. So a first today, Billy. 100 points allowed by the USA. Yep, they've given up 100, and, and they also have given up a big emotional situation here. You know, our guys, uh, when I say our guys, I'm talking about the United States, right now are, look like they're whipped, whereas in the first half, the Brazilian players looked like they were in a position where they were ready to throw in the top. Meanwhile, Willie Anderson, who has been a clutch performer, has 14 in this game, comes into the game replacing Fennis Dembo. He banged his knee, had it taped up, and came back. So right now, it for the United States is Chapman and Drew Richardson at guard, Manning, Ellison, and Anderson up front. 5.39 to go, and with the clock being 30 seconds, as opposed to the normal 45 that's in collegiate basketball, there's still plenty of time. The United States is going to have to figure out a way to get offensively structured other than trying to get this back to some jump shots. Well, maybe Willie Anderson can be the spark. He's been that way in a lot of the game. It's amazing to me how Brazil, with their straight man-to-man, has been able to take the United States right out of their offense. 101-96. 5.25 on the clock. Anderson double team. Turn around, and there's Manning with the follow-up. Manning has 10 now. Oscar and Sosa playing a little two-man game down the low post. Brown thought that the ball was knocked off of Sosa, but it's Brazil's possession. And a quick three-pointer and a foul by Anderson. And the last thing you want to do is foul on a three-point shot. That's right, because you have three fouls to shoot. Sosa, an excellent free-throw shooter. Danny Manning going, Willie Anderson putting it up on the inside. You see the push-off by Oscar Manning in perfect position to foul back up and does. That's the third foul on Anderson. So everyone's in the bonus now, and on the line is Marcel Sosa, who also, by the way, plays in Italy. 230 pounds and 30 years old, and he is the oldest player on the Brazil team. He uh, is a general practitioner, just got out of medical school. Somebody asked him the other day, what put you into medicine? He said, I looked in the mirror one day and said, isn't this the face of a doctor? <laughs> I mean, it's a heck of a line. Is there a better way? I don't know. He's, this kid has a great personality. I shouldn't say kid, 30 years of age. He has a great personality, very intelligent. Six-point lead for Brazil with 5.04 to go, and this capacity crowd all concerned right now. And rightfully so. Brazil with its biggest lead. Good position for Manning and a good feed from Purvis Ellison. That's the first time you've seen the United States go back to their inside game, getting some offensive structure. Four 
four-point lead, Brazil. Basically a two-man offensive game now. Sosa and Oscar playing with, on, on the same side, just creating a two-man game. Cardosa outside. They have 11 seconds to shoot. Tipped away by Anderson, and it was off Sosa. USA ball quickly inbounds. They don't have to have the official touch it. And they'll call the foul now on Cardoza, and that may be five on him. He's out. Ricardo Cardoza has fouled out for Brazil. Well, they can come back with Vic Delano, isn't he? Is, did Vic Delano, I thought he just had four. Well, Vic Delano has four fouls. He's yeah, still around. And he's been sitting a long time. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if they've forgotten about him because they could really use him on the boards now. Willie Anderson down, as we mentioned, he hurt his knee in the first half. There's Vic Delano. He was really the guy that, that started the charge by going up on the boards, blocking some shots. He's been sitting down now for about eight, ten minutes. <laughs> Willie Anderson. Anderson, an excellent free throw shooter in the collegiate scene, has not shot that well uh, so far in the tournament. It's a two-point game, and to update you on the gold medal volleyball match between the USA and Cuba, the Americans have come back to tie the Cubans, 11 apiece in the third game after winning the first two. Jorge Guerra, the point guard right now, being hounded by Pooh Richardson, penetrated nicely. And the follow-up by Andrade after the missed shot by Viana. And there's one of those guys that carry the piano deck that are doing everything on the board, setting screens, doing all the things he's supposed to. And even playing a few chords. Huh? That's right, he did on that play. And the turnaround by Purvis Ellison. And here's where the three-point basket can really be a killer for the United States. We haven't seen Oscar shoot one for a while. I think he's ready. There it is. Just two, it was just inside the line, but he had the idea. Oh yeah, he you knew that his mind was getting ready to set somebody up for the shot. 40 points for Oscar and a four-point Brazil lead with less than three and a half to play. Chapman will go for three. No follow-through. Rebound with another great rebound. Andrade, the big guy, has been very active inside. Oscar misses a three. Chapman into the hand. Of Brazil Sosa and the layup by Oscar is good and a foul and a big basket and a big segment for Brazil right there. This game shocks me, Dick, in terms of the comeback and the way the comeback came at the point which it did. The United States totally in control of this basketball game. Uh, Brazil has not shown this type of competitive nature throughout the tournament. It looked like they were ready to throw in the towel, but they've come back with tough defense, hard-nosed rebounding, not just brilliant shooting. They were a beaten team when they went off the court at halftime, but they had to say the right words inside. They became physical, and when Robinson picked up the fourth, they came back. 36% shooting for the USA. Great turnaround in the shooting stack. This free throw, it's a six-point game. Anderson with a good fake. Can't buy a basket in Brazil, dominating the boards. Under three minutes to go. You know, we should have known at halftime, Brazil was right up there and rebounding with the United States. Oscar with two more. And now it's getting real serious for the United States, Billy, in their efforts to retain the gold medal. These players have to be more shocked than we are, and Denny Crum likewise, in terms of this comeback. 33 for Oscar this half, 44 in the game. Chapman for three. You notice we're totally out of the offense, getting blocked out on the inside. No inside game at all. Manning on the follow-up, but keep in mind that Danny Manning is playing with four personals, and David Robinson's already fouled out. 112 to 106, 216 to go. Oscar's foul. must be so tough to guard this guy for the simple reason that every time he touches the ball, he's a threat to get something up. So you can't relax. Is he having a good time out there? Is he having a good time? The United States has lost only twice. Argentina and Cuba, they lost in 1955 and in 1971. Keith Smart comes back in. You know, it was... The great defense of Ricky Berry at the start of the game, they really quieted down Oscar. Right, they had Oscar under double figures for a long time in that first half, but he has really opened up here, and 
has exploded and has played a better all-around game than I've seen him play. But I think, you know, the piano carriers have really been the answer for, for Brazil. You know, and, and I admire them for that because they know they're not going to shoot the ball much, but they've been blocking out, setting the screens, rebounding beautifully, and not throwing the ball away. That's still a great story for those of us that are just joining late. They're piano carriers and the piano players, right? Sosa and Oscar are the players. And Sosa's been relatively quiet. They haven't been able to stop Oscar. Manning's turnaround. Ellison with the follow-up. Big basket for Ellison, who has six of his ten here in the second half. Six-point lead, Brazil. Well, I anticipated the United States would score 120 points in this game, but I never would have believed that Brazil also would be up in that area. Brazil had averaged 112 coming in, but they allowed 95. Good yeah. try. And a bank shot by Sosa, and Brazil's in the right place at the right time, it seems, for loose ball. Well, nobody else really working at it. Look at Key Smart line. You wonder if that can be a spark for the USA trailing by six. They could use three-point shots in this one now down the stretch. And they're not really a big three-point shooting team. Ricky Barry on the bench, pretty good three-point shooter. Richardson is not. Smart is not. So you really only have Rex Chapman out there that's going to take threes. Oscar, and it's knocked away by Smart. Brazil ball with 13 seconds on their shot clock, and Denny Crum wants a timeout. Timeout called by Denny Crum, and the United States gold medal is in jeopardy at the Pan Am game. Hortensia with the long hair on top yelling for the Brazil team, and Maria Cardoso, their coach, the Brazil women who were beaten by the U.S. women trying to cheer the men on. And meanwhile, the Americans to the left, and all the Americans have to have some question now. Billy. They're looking a little somber right there, and we were told by the Brazilian press if the men were to win this game, it'd be only only thing could beat it would be winning the World Cup in soccer. Oscar. What a push off by Andre. Andre pushed Danny Manning three feet under the basket. Manning complained about it now, but too late. And Andrade will go to the line. 59 seconds to go, and the United States will have to rely on three-point shooting if they're going to come back. There was the push by Andre, moved Manning right underneath the basket. The United States has not been able to press uh, Brazil very well. Danny Manning is fouled out of the ball game. Manning and Robinson both fouled out. Danny fouls out with 14 points. Robinson had fouled out with 20. And Billy, I still have to go back to that technical foul. The fourth personal on Robinson that took a lot of the wind out of the American sails, and Brazil went from there. Yeah, I would agree that that was a tough call, but I really think the key to this game is the fact that Brazil just wanted it more than the United States in the second half. They just took it to them. Andrade hits the free throw. When you go back to those losses, when the United States lost in 55 to Argentina, the score was 54-53. They lost to Cuba with 73-69. Here we're looking, I, I thought 120 points would win it, but I'm shocked, Dick, well, the, which team has it. That's right. Chapman for three. United States relying on the three-point play. Mark follows it up on a full-court press. The U.S. is out of timeouts. They don't want to foul Sosa or, or Oscar. And Oscar feeding Vitalino. Lebo comes down, 34 seconds to go. Chapman for three. Tipped up. Brazil is going to win this gold medal at the Pan American Games with a tremendous come from behind victory. They were down by 20. In international play, this has to be one of the big upsets in history. And the basket by Sosa with 10 seconds to go. Smart misses. It looked like the USA was going to win in a route. Brazil wins the gold. Shocking game. They threw their hearts on the floor for this game. They, they deserve the victory. They deserve the goal. Oscar scored 35 in the second half. Brazil wins the gold medal. We'll be back. 